now where do lawyers come in <clears throat> so we have to understand that you know uh, the engagement of a company with a stock exchange involves a lawyer's presence in almost every stage okay so capital market lawyers so there are two sides to it one is transactional and advisory and the other is litigation we'll come to litigation later if you have litigation in india related to securities you go here you go to the sat the securities appellate tribunal but other than that work okay other than that or maybe filing a writ sometimes or you know going to high court supreme court etc for various things most of the time you are dealing with like apart from sat and and litigation related to securities we are talking about only one work that is uh transaction okay so uh <clears throat> who are the different actors in the capital market right so in the capital markets on one hand you have the company which is trying to get listed or already is listed okay in an ipo transaction for example you have a company and then you have an underwriter there's an investment bank which underwrites the issue okay so what is underwriting just to to explain it very simply let's say uh, so stock exchange will say that you know uh, when somebody is going to list like you are offering it as an ipo but what if nobody buys this what if like you know uh, only 10% of the securities are bought and the rest of it is not bought because if rest of it is not bought then it will be wasted uh, if the 10 people who invested money their money will be wasted because it will not get listed and things will really bomb right for those few people who buy it and the other people did not buy so it will be a disaster for the few people who bought so there everything that is offered has to be underwritten so underwriting is that there is an investment bank which says you know what if this we are so sure about the securities and we already have people lined up to buy this security when it when it is listed if they do not buy then we will pay for it we will buy it underwriting okay we we are underwriting the risk of this ipo so they get a fee for doing all of this they also have lawyers okay so you have a lawyer acting for the company then you have a lawyer for the underwriter there are merchant bankers okay who might be playing a role either way so they might have hire lawyers in the process because there's so much of the responsibility is on a merchant banker and you know merchant banker and investment bank may be the same thing in some cases so i'm saying that sebi also has lawyers right sebi's job of course is to ensure that you know nobody is stepping out of the line nobody is doing anything that is against the law or the rules or the ethics of the capital market okay so for example uh, sebi took uh, sebi basically waged the legal war against sahara sahara was a big company which had raised a lot of money from the public uh, but according to sebi this was wrong so sebi sebi prosecuted them over the years took the matter to sat then high court then supreme court and finally supreme court said that sebi is correct and sahara has to return the money etc and <clears throat> anyway the, the point is that this was very very critical right it was a critical factor in in the of sebi's job of that they have to hire lawyers who are going to uh, always uh, they are going to frame the rules they are going to uh, enforce the rules they are going to litigate if necessary on behalf of sebi and ensure that you know people are doing the line in the industry so there are three players uh, companies which are getting listed entities that are getting listed and then you have uh, then then you have investment bankers merchant banks and then you have the uh, regulator so these are the three main players who have their own lawyers in any capital market transaction involved okay people miss the regulator lawyer part very often but that's a major also a major area of work for lawyers